Kept you waiting, huh? This is part two in a series of power scaling videos regarding the protagonists of the Metal Gear series. And since a lot of the characters share feats and abilities, I'd highly recommend watching my Solid Snake video before this one, which contains a lot of information that'll be absent in this video. You might be wondering to yourself, isn't this video a little superfluous? Solid Snake is a clone of Big Boss and has showings and statements consistently placing Snake above Big Boss. While that is true, Big Boss and Solid Snake lived very different lives, operating under different moralities and were defined by totally different circumstances. The characters I'll be branching in with Big Boss are Venom Snake, Big Boss's top soldier in his private military, MSF, who was brainwashed to share Big Boss's experience and skills, as well as Solidus Snake, the quote-unquote perfect clone of Big Boss, who was one of the more enigmatic characters in the series. Not quite enough to say about him to make a full video on, but worth covering in regards to Big Boss. With that out of the way, let's look at the greatest warrior of the 20th century. We will forsake our countries. We have no nation, no philosophy, no ideology. And yes, we may all be headed straight to hell. This is our heaven. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you, and return as Big Boss. The man first known as John was born in 1935. He would revere the Boss, the mother of special forces who led the United States to victory during World War II, as his master. She would impart with him her extensive knowledge of military combat, philosophy, multilingualism, and would co-develop CQC alongside him. John would take part in the Korean War, eventually separating from the boss in 1959. He would carry out covert ops in the Vietnam War, join the Green Berets, and eventually join FOX, a covert op group under the CIA. His accomplishments under these organizations would lead to him earning the Army Achievement Ribbon, the Good Conduct Ribbon, Defense Distinguished Service Ribbon, Korean Service Ribbon, the Vietnam Service Ribbon, and the Distinguished Service Cross Ribbon, as well as earning the title of Big Boss during Operation Snake Eater. The events therein would see John, codenamed Naked Snake, overcome and kill the boss after her apparent defection to a Soviet splinter group. Snake being forced to kill the boss was tantamount to killing his mother compounded by the fact that the boss's defection was merely a ruse to acquire a stash of wealth that the boss would use to bomb the broken world born of the Cold War. Snake would grow disillusioned with the United States. He became a man torn between his loyalty to the mission and his loyalty to his master. This tear would prove a divide when the government cloned Big Boss as to ensure his superior soldier genes would live on if he were to ever expire or turn against the US. Big Boss would drift around the world, creating multiple military nations, seeking to provide discarded soldiers with a world that would always need them. This idea would lead to Big Boss's ultimate machination to fan the flames of war indefinitely. He believed the world on fire would provide soldiers with boundless purpose. The first of his official military nations was MSF. Multiple operations would be conducted by the United States against Big Boss. One would see the near total destruction of MSF and the nine-year coma of Big Boss and his highest marked comrade. As part of a plan devised to keep the true Big Boss out of the wanting eyes of the world stage, the man only known prior as Ahab would undergo brainwashing and facial reconstruction to both believe and look as if he was Big Boss. V, or Venom Snake, would rebuild MSF as Diamond Dogs, while the real Big Boss would devise a plan to see his true army nation, his outer heaven, as a reality. He would appear back in the US, ingratiating himself as the leader of Foxhound, where he would first meet and train his son, Solid Snake passing on to him his original code name. All the while, Venom Snake would position himself as the leader of Outer Heaven. Word of Outer Heaven's growing presence in Africa would lead to the US demanding Foxhound send Solid Snake to infiltrate the facility and assess the threat. He would go above and beyond, freeing all the POWs within Outer Heaven and killing its leader, Big Boss, in reality Venom Snake. 
The death of Venom would grant Big Boss the opportunity to rebuild Outer Heaven within Zanzibar Land. With rumors of Big Boss's resurrection and Outer Heaven's reconstruction, Solid Snake was once again dispatched to see an end to the nuclear-armed army nation. Big Boss would be severely burned by Solid Snake, but not before revealing that Snake was his son. This revelation would shake David to his core, causing him to retire to Alaska until the events of MGS-1. Big Boss would lay in medical coma, kept barely alive until 2014 when he would be reassembled by grafting on pieces of his fallen clones, Liquid and Solidus. He would meet his son one last time, where he would admit regret at leading to the current state of the world his son was forced to endure through. His last moment was spent sharing a cigar with his son above the grave of his mother, the boss. Solidus was born of Les Enfants Terribles, the third and youngest son of Big Boss, where Solid and Liquid Snake were born of Big Boss's dominant and recessive genes respectively. Solid was an exact clone of Big Boss. His history beyond that is shaky. As a teenager, he participated in the Liberian Civil War, kidnapping war orphans and training them as child soldiers. He was particularly fond of blades, deeming them as more honorable than firearms. Sometime after his time in Liberia, he was placed as President of the United States, where he would oversee the formation of the anti-terrorist outfit Dead Cell. Along with these soldiers, Solidus planned to hijack Arsenal Gear, an impenetrable fortress armed with nuclear weapons, and claim Manhattan. He resented his life, all life, being controlled by the Patriots, and sought to free the world of their grasp. Due to the threat that a nuclear weapon-wielding clone of Big Boss presented, this plan was foiled by Solidus's adopted son, Raiden, in tandem with Solid Snake. Solidus's last earthly act would be reaching towards George Washington's statue at Federal Hall, trying to claim the freedom that America's founder represented. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Mm -hmm. Big Boss, like Solid Snake, served in the Green Berets, speaks multiple languages such as Russian, Spanish, French, and Cat. He committed the world's first halo jump and showcased skill in free climbing as well as acrobatics. He proved his superiority over the boss in CQC in under 10 minutes, placing him as one of the most skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighters in his verse, being easily capable of clearing rims of soldiers unarmed. As stated in my last video, Godzilla Rex analyzed both Big Boss and Solid Snake's fighting styles and came to the conclusion that they would know Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Aikido, Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Karate, Boxing, Kali, Taijutsu, Intonjutsu, Kayaku Jutsu, Shinobi Iri, Boryaku, Chimon, Shoho, Suiren, Kenjutsu, Henso Jutsu, and Bad Jutsu. Seeing as Big Boss and Solid Snake received their training errors apart, I can't say for certain if he would learn the exact same principles from the Army and the CIA. He has showcased the use of improvised weapons, using medical alcohol in tandem with a lighter to burn an opponent mid-combat. He showcased proficiency with blades through Venom Snake's machete counters against the Skull Unit. While the only known form of training undergone by Solidus was his experience as a CIA paramilitary and his hand in the Navy SEAL's anti-terrorist group Dead Cell, he was the snake to showcase the highest affinity for blades, using them as a means to battle Raiden atop Federal Hall. He trained Raiden in the use of bladed weapons, forcing his affinity onto the young Jack. Big Boss is a master at environmental warfare, using the surroundings to his advantage wherever he can. He shared his son's encyclopedic knowledge of weaponry, even making on-the-spot modifications to a handgun as to be more efficient towards CQC, and numerous weapon mods in The Phantom Pain. He employed disguises multiple times as a means to infiltrate enemy facilities. His experience at co-managing numerous military nations would enforce his status as a tactical genius, overseeing a number of military operations throughout his life. Through these skills, he was able to defeat the Cobras, the unit of empowered individuals brought together by the boss during World War II. He was able to best Quiet, a female assassin trained by XOF, Fox's cleanup crew, both in her base form as well as after her parasite enhancements. He's of course taken on multiple Metal Gears, bipedal walking battle tanks, the Shagohod, a precursor to Metal Gear, a prototype of Metal Gear Raja, Cocoon, Chrysalis, Pupa, Peace Walker, Metal Gear Zeke, and Metal Gear Sahalanthropus, as well as Solidus taking on Metal Gear Ray. He defeated Null, a young Frank Jaeger who could predict his opponent's moves as well as the slightest of muscle movements as well as Gene, a soldier who possessed precognition through ESP. 
Through his honed senses, Big Boss can mark and detect enemies through solid objects. He can also detect spirits with the naked eye, being able to sense the end as well as see the boss's spirit leaving her body. Big Boss can casually toss grown soldiers around, slap men unconscious, and he beat down Vulgan so hard he coughed up blood. The same Vulgan who had prior beaten Snake to a pulp. And as stated in my last video, Big Boss is able to prevent the around 500 ton Metal Gear Zeke and the 323,551.446 metric ton Cocoon from crushing him. That's 30 times MCU Hulk's best feat of stopping the Leviathan. There isn't much to add to Big Boss's speed that I didn't state in the Solid Snake video. Him and Solid Snake have showcased travel speeds ranging from 35 to 66 kilometers an hour, and the verse has consistently shown massively hypersonic reactions based on the dodging of rail guns. Since my Solid video, I have found some evidence to place at least Solid Snake higher than that that I may cover another time. But in regards to Big Boss's reaction speed, he is able to react to objects moving at Mach 292 or massively hypersonic. That's over two times the speed of Marvel Cinematic Universe's Quicksilver. Venom Snake does have access to wormhole projectors, granting him the capabilities to teleport himself, equipment, or unconscious enemies to his mother base from distances up to 4,497 kilometers, but I'll cover that more when we get to Big Boss's equipment. The biggest thing that I was kicking myself for forgetting to put in my prior video was Snake's resistance to radiation. Big Boss was a nuclear test subject in Bikini Atoll, as well as surely being bathed in nuclear radiation multiple times throughout Snake Eater. Big Boss commented on the fact that most of his fellow test subjects quickly died from the effects. He was seemingly unharmed, apart from being rendered infertile. After a gruesome beatdown, he survived a city block level attack from Vulgan, who could produce 10 million volts of electricity. He then escaped on foot and jumped hundreds of feet into the water below. Other than that, Big Boss's AP would be multi-city block, based on him being able to damage Metal Gears. Same goes for Venom and Solidus. Big Boss did have access to nuclear weapons throughout his life, which would place his AP, or attack potency, at around city level. Besides his major resistance to radiation, his sneaking suit would protect him from temperatures as low as 77 degrees Kelvin, as well as mask him from being detected by thermal. He has showcased great resistance towards electricity, withstanding the previously mentioned torture via Vulgan. He was trained to resist truth serums, and he was able to power through an arrow coated in the poison of the Brazilian wandering spider long enough to remove it and administer an antidote. The effects of said spider take effect in as little as 30 minutes and can easily prove fatal in humans. People might like to downplay the snake's resistance to fire, pointing out the end of Metal Gear 2 or Old Snake getting burned in MGS4. These instances are something called plot-induced stupidity. Versus Battle Wiki defines plot-induced stupidity as a term used to refer to events in a story that contradict a character's normal capabilities for the purpose of the plot. We've seen the snake's resistance to fire more times than not. Big Boss is mere feet away from the Fury when he did this. He survived a point-blank explosion in a helicopter. While well, Ahab did shield Big Boss's body from the shrapnel resulting from the explosion, there's no way he completely shielded him from the heat of a bomb and helicopter collision. He then shrugs off getting burned by the man on fire. He has also showcased resistance to air-based pathogens, as in clouds and metallic archaea that the Skull Unit used to zombify nearby troops. I give my life.
waiting, huh? If you thought Solid Snake's arsenal was exhaustive, then just keep waiting. Solid Snake had to find his best equipment on site. He was lucky to have Otacon to develop his more cutting edge tech. But the biggest distinction between Snake and Big Boss was funding. Being the head of multiple expansive military nations would put you at the top of military technology. Not even to mention Big Boss's R&D team featured Otacon's father, Huey Emmerich. Of course, he has access to various handguns, rifles, SMGs, machine guns, RPGs, most of all having a stun or trank model. He'd be gifted the Patriot from the boss, a gun which had limitless ammo thanks to its infinity symbol-shaped design, the whirlwind-producing Tanigashima, his sneaking suit, which is heat, water, and shock-resistant, has noise-canceling soles at its feet, and this suit masks Big Boss's body heat. He can make use of the Soliton Radar, a radar which detects electromagnetic waves emanating from both the living and dead. With this, he can detect enemy's position and field of vision. He has aerial mines to attack enemies firing from above, Fulton mines that send enemies to mother base upon contact, Fultons can be upgraded to employ wormholes as a mode of transport, Big Boss has shown the capability to employ these wormholes on himself. Decoys and stun decoys, which can attract the enemy's attention and stun them if they choose to attack it. Animal bait to attract fauna, flares to call down his helicopter, medical spray if he sustains lethal injury, white phosphorus grenades, C3 and C4, as well as cigarette gas spray to covertly incapacitate enemies. He has the sonic eye, which verts nearby sound data individual symbols, int scope, which could be used to mark enemies, both in relativity to Big Boss's current position, as well as on the eye droid's holographic map. Speaking of the eye droid, it's Big Boss's main method of communication with his mother base. From it, he can request a supply drop of ammo, fatigues, weapons, etc. He can call down bombardments, either lethal, smoke, sleep gas, or chaff dispersal to disable electronics. He can as well change the weather to either rain, a sandstorm, or a clear sky. Venom Snake made use of advanced prosthetics to imbue his bionic arm with special abilities, such as the Stun Arm, which when fully upgraded can call down electricity to stun an entire outpost of soldiers, the Rocket Arm, a remote-controlled arm that could be fired at enemies, the Blast Arm, a lethal explosive variation of the Rocket Arm, and the Hand of Jehudi, a hand that fires a wisp, capturing and pulling a target into Big Boss's CQC hold with a maximum range of 30 meters. He has multiple buddies he can call on at any time through his iDroid. The always reliable D-Horse, the Super Sniper Quiet, D-Wolf, an attack dog that can bark to distract enemies, attack them with either a lethal or stun knife, fault in the nearest enemies or equipment, and use his canine senses to mark enemies. D-Walker, a type of mini Metal Gear equipped with minigun, missile launcher, flamethrower, an electric stun variation of a railgun, a Fulton Ballista that will send targets to Big Boss's mother base, it can also be equipped with standard sidearms. And a machete, seemingly coated in metallic archaea, a corrosive substance which oxidizes materials upon contact, making the operation of heavy machinery, like helicopters and tanks, impossible. He has the Parasite Suit, which can either emit smoke for cover, coat Big Boss's body in a protective layer of metallic archaea, or simulate stealth camouflage. Solid as Snake adorned a stat-boosting exoskeleton based on technology shared by Metal Gear Ray. The suit was equipped with two prehensile arms which could inject drugs, such as phenobarbital B, into an opponent, scan an opponent's brain, and also had the ability to fire small missiles. They could as well be ejected to further increase the wearer's speed and agility. He was also equipped with an accelerator to make quick dashes across the field, leaving a trail of fire. He made use of a P90 submachine gun capable of destroying ray units, and, at, and had two high-frequency blades named Democrat and Republican. High-frequency blades are swords, which ignore conventional durability by weakening the bonds of molecules. In conclusion, Big Boss is a highly skilled super soldier with enhanced senses, a vast arsenal of advanced military technology, an army at his back, and the will to never stop fighting. Here's to you, man who sold the world. Best